very happy for Coach Pop. As you all know, Coach Pop is my guy. We won a gold medal together. Got nothing but love for Coach Pop. And then also know that Victor uh, Wimbyama is going to have an incredible coach that's going to teach him the NBA game, that's going to require him. He's going to one of the best developmental staffs in the league. Although, and Coach Pop knows this, I would think, and everybody should know, losing Chip England, um, which was a year ago, it's a tough thing. Chip is great. My guy Chipper. But the best developmental staff over years um, in the NBA, one of, I would say. Um, you know he's going to have a seriousness about him. You know he's going to be taught how to be a great pro. He's going to be taught how to read the game. I think it's absolutely incredible. And we also know Coach Pop's history with number one picks. Big man, that's number one picks, to be exact. Uh, the last one being Tim Duncan, who we arguably top five player in NBA history. So um, I was happy to see that for Coach Pop. Um, watch out for that. Congratulations, Coach Pop. Congrats to the Spurs on taking the number one pick. There has been a lot of talk on is Wimby uh, the best prospect since LeBron. I have saw some people say he's the best prospect ever. Um, is he the best prospect since LeBron? I think we'd all agree. Um, is he the best prospect ever? Of course, everyone's going to say that now, but let's not forget how big of a prospect LeBron James was. LeBron James was a phenom from 15 years old. LeBron James was the number one pick as a 15-year-old. I can't quite say Victor Wimbayama was number one pick as a 15-year-old. So although we like to move on fast to the next thing, I'm just not going off no going off the rail and saying he's a better prospect than LeBron. However, he is probably definitely the best prospect since LeBron and probably the second best prospect ever because LeBron's probably number one. Also, we tend to forget what type of prospect LeBron was because he did the unthinkable. What we thought of him as a, as a prospect, he actually outlived and outdid what we thought of him as a prospect. So it's very easy now in today's day and age to say, oh, he's a better prospect than LeBron because you forget how big of a prospect LeBron was because of how much he's done. But LeBron was a huge, crazy prospect. So. That's that. Um, Jackson asked me how many players would, would not be traded or would, yeah, would not be traded for Wimby in the NBA. I'm not sure how many, but there's definitely a few. LeBron wouldn't be. Steph wouldn't be. Can't say. I don't think Luka would be. Joker wouldn't be. Uh, and I think there's a few more names out there, but. Maybe 480, what, how many players is NBA now? It used to be 450. Now you got two-way spots. So let's just say for the sake of standard roster spots, 450 spots, 435, 440 would be, which is saying a lot, saying a whole lot. Um, wishing him the best. Congratulations, kid. You've been drafted to the San Antonio Spurs. Absolutely incredible going to a great franchise. What's up, everybody? It's Draymond Green. Make sure you subscribe to the Volumes YouTube channel below so you don't miss any more of this great content going forward.